Okay, this reading is going to be for Pisces. And I'm having a lot of problems with negativity right now. So I'm going to clear this. Oh, no wonder. that It was that last reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. Jesus Christ, help us. Please clear away. Oh my goodness, y'all. That last reading for Aquarius was full of negativity. I'm so sorry y'all are going through that. Forgiveness. There's got to be forgiveness. Forgiveness is key. My ear just stopped up. My sage never burns like this. Jesus, have mercy. I was wondering what was going on because this is the third time I've attempted this reading and I could not get anything to work. There was there's some negative something negative. I don't understand how this works because it's something new to me. Please let me see. Speak. Hear. Only truth. And feel only love and truth. Hold on. that kind of negativity I'm so sorry speak to me clearly spirit speak to me clearly The last reading that I attempted actually showed me the negative energy that I was was retaining and that I needed to clear that energy. <clears throat> the cards showed me <laughs> that that last reading 
that pain that I was feeling and that withdrawal that I have to release that. I can't I can't just move forward with it still on board. And I thought it was weird when the heal yourself was what I was told to begin with. That was very strange. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm new to all this. But I am trying. Okay, Spirit, speak to me clearly. I mean, it's like everything was upside down. Speak to me clearly for the sign of Pisces. Holy Spirit, what exactly are you doing? For the sign of Pisces, how are you working in the sign of Pisces life right now in the collective and in individual? Speak to me clearly, Holy Spirit. Please show me how you're working in Pisces life. That came out a while ago, the high priest. Not the high priestess, but there's a high priest now. Huh, interesting. Somehow the number two and the number five. Are very relevant. This is a very spiritual man that's being brought into being here. Maybe he plays chess because that's showing up also. And there's the sun. There's two cute little babies. <laughs> Somehow there may be two babies relevant. The sun is like the happiest card there is. So somehow there's a high priest that's making you very happy. Do we want to keep going? Okay, one more. One more. Or whatever comes out. What, what else do you want to say? Speak to me clearly, please. Thank you so very much. Temperance came out eh, somewhat sideways. That's okay. Awesome, the Wheel of Fortune is what we don't see coming. <laughs> Let's go further and see what's going on here. Okay, so we have a high priest here. Who is this high priest for the sign of Pisces? Can you clarify who this is? We got walking away from what doesn't serve them. So some high priest is walking away from this cup that no longer fills them. And that's Pisces, so maybe that's us. Who is this high priest? Somebody's making a choice because it came out like this. Somebody's making a choice. That's a Gemini. What choice is this Gemini making? Or whoever this is. They're choosing something that's going to balance things out. Capricorn. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Give and take. Equal give and take. <clears throat> Between two opposing forces. Okay, Spirit. Clarify what the sun represents. Transformation. There's a transformation happening. Death Scorpion energy. Death and rebirth. What is this temperance about? What are we being patient about? Can you clarify this? Speak to me clearly. If it was meant to come out, it'll come out again. Speak to me clearly. Please speak to me clearly, Spirit. What is temperance about? What are we tempering? How are you helping us with temperance? <laughs> that one was determined to come out. How can you not take it? We're being patient about this situation right here that has us locked up. Somebody's locked up and we're having to be patient about that. But we have the key. This is Taurus energy. <sighs> okay. And then what is, clarify the wheel, Spirit. What is it that we don't see coming with this wheel of fortune? What is happening with this wheel? Can you please speak to me clearly for the sign of Pisces? I'm not sure what that means, but let's see. Let's keep going. Clarify this for the wheel again. The wheel is...
somebody's got a broken heart from hell and they're holding on to the past but the wheel is fixing to turn the wheel is clarified by a broken heart and holding on to the past clarify what you're saying spirit with this wheel turning is it turning away into an, a better direction? Now I have this Libra card with the Four of Swords, and it's about wounding, wounding from something. You might have a tattoo on your left arm. You might have on blue pants and a red shirt. You might have on a gray shirt. You might have a tattoo on your right arm. <clears throat> you're probably going through something very painful something very difficult that's causing you to hold on to some kind of poverty mindset but spirit's trying to move you away from that spirit clarify and, it, and it's got you in this prison us in this prison spirit, what are you saying the players in reverse and he's trying to offer his love. I guess. I don't know what Spirit's saying yet, but we're going to find out. Got the player in reverse. And he's thinking about something he loves. What are you saying? I'm confused. Somebody's thinking about celebrating and having a happy family. They don't want to play anymore. They want to be in love. They're tired of this pig flying out of this bowl. Hmm. Hmm. They're moving to calmer water. Spirit, what is this wheel though? Or what are you are you moving them towards this salvation? to me clearly we go with the cards flying everywhere again Pisces speak to us clearly spirit about this celebration what is this celebration clarify this wheel you're moving them towards some kind of halfway to marriage celebration for everything they've ever wanted you put the player in reverse and then there's this love offering or maybe somebody offered their love to a player. What are you saying? Did somebody offer their love to a player? And you're trying to turn it into something else? Clarify this wheel, Holy Spirit. Be patient, Pisces. Be patient. Maybe you have a Sagittarian placement. Then they get a Queen of Swords on the floor. And the Three of Cups. I'm putting them back. Jesus. Why does it got to be so complicated? Why does it have to be so complicated? Okay. So somebody's focusing on work. They're not even thinking about love. No. Oh. But somebody's made a choice to move to calmer waters. Maybe by focusing on work instead of love. Let me see. Let me read these cards real, real carefully. Okay, so first of all, we had the wheel clarified by the wheel. And there's something here about a heartache and being in prison. Maybe this uh, makes sense to you. There's a prison. And we're being patient about this prison. This prison is causing a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of wounding. And there's somebody holding on to a poverty mindset. <clears throat> and this wheel is going to turn for justice. And it has something to do with a knight of wands in reverse and love being offered. I think that this love might be offered to this Knight of Wands in reverse because they're not a player anymore. Or maybe this... Uh, that's what it looks like, unfortunately. <laughs> I 
Okay, it looks like we're offering our love to them. Offering our love to some player that's in reverse. Okay, that's acceptable. And we're focusing on ourselves and on our work and not worrying about choices. We're moving to calmer waters by doing that. <clears throat> and then there's a happy family somehow. There's a happy family and a celebration. This is what we're, we're supposed to have. But right now we're just focusing on work. But we are offering this small love to this knight of wands. This player. Because they're in reverse. Because they're trying. That's what it looks like. They're trying. And what we don't see coming is that they're going to actually be a magician. And maybe that's what's happening. Is they're finally manifesting something better. Alright, Spirit, can you clarify this with another deck of cards that what I'm saying is correct? Clarify this choice, Spirit. Clarify this choice. This high priest and this choice in love. Clarify this high priest and this choice in love. That's clarified by justice. That's that karmic balance. Clarify the sun, spirit. Clarify the sun. This clarified by an ace of wands in reverse that's in delay. Why is this passionate new beginning in delay? Wow. <laughs> wow. Because there's a Knight of Cups moving towards a situation that involves Hold on. Give me a minute. Somebody, a Knight of Cups is passing on some blessings that, that have been earned to a King of Cups. There's a love offer because it's been earned. That's what this is. That's what this is. <laughs> that clarifies this. <laughs> Pisces is being generous and loving somebody who probably doesn't deserve it. And that's why this is being delayed. I don't know how that fits into the situation. There's also, even though the, this passionate new beginning is not here, there's a new beginning in the world that is. It's a small one, but it's showing up. Clarify the wheel, Spirit. Clarify the wheel of fortune. Please clarify the wheel. What's going to happen when this wheel turns in our favor, Spirit? The wheel showed up twice. Can you please clarify the wheel? This is a card about being defensive and protecting what's yours. But let me see what this reverse is. Hmm. No, that's like that heavy load being lifted. That might be good news, y'all. Success after a setback. Preparing well ahead. Managing delays and success after a setback. So some setback you had, God's fixing to correct it. With a wheel. Clarify this wheel further, Spirit, and this correction of this setback. Ta-da! The Emperor showed up. Somebody's transforming here. The Magician and the Emperor. Anything else you want to say, Holy Spirit, about this situation? 
Anything else you want to say? That's a lot, but... <clears throat> I got a nine of pentacles. There's hope, transformation. Give me a minute, y'all. This is a lot. Material comfort, abundance, and wanting for little, an accomplishment, gains, and a sense of self-worth. Okay, and then there's this transformative energy. So somebody's transforming. They're, just, they're starting to see their value in this situation. And then... They're starting to see how valuable they are to you, Pisces. Or maybe you are seeing your value, but this is somebody else. This looks like somebody else. Whoever your person is that you're dealing with. And then this is about... Oh, they're transforming their meanness. Ha <laughs> ha! They're transforming their meanness in their comfort zone. Wow. Their, their meanness, their recklessness, their impulsive errors, and their indiscretion. They're transforming that into love. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. And this is how they're doing it. Jeez, <laughs> didn't see that coming. They're working towards something better. Beautiful. 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 I'll take it. That's much better than the last reading. I have to give it to you. Okay, let's get some here yourself. It looks good. It looks good. And they're going to have help from this wheel. Huh. Here, can you please guide this reading? Dang. <laughs> Do we take them all? No, just this one. Okay. Maybe you're writing a letter about how mean you've been. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary, honestly. They're trying to come out again. This is the last time I'm going to turn them back over. And I will take them if they keep coming out. They're, they're so big. My hands are too little for these big cards. They're clearly sweet to me. <clears throat> Letting go. Letting go. Letting go of things that are killing you and not serving you very good, maybe. I have no idea. Help from above. The moon is definitely significant. Then sadness came out. Sadness and beauty. Maybe this is the end of your sadness. Maybe you're letting go of sadness because you know you have help from above and you know that you're going to go home and you are beautiful. You are very beautiful. Time, divine timing is definitely at play. You might have curly hair. You might have dirty blonde curly hair. <clears throat> you might have red hair. There's definitely some kind of letter that keeps showing up. You might have wallpaper peeling off your wall. You might...
You're probably into some kind of craft like I am. You prob probably play some kind of instrument. You're definitely beautiful and sexy. Definitely beautiful. I hope this has made sense to somebody. Okay, spirit. Looks like your relationship is transforming, whoever you are. <laughs> From a player to something better. And they're working hard at it. What other cards can we get from this angel deck spirit? How are the angels helping us? Dang, and that knocked one of my cards off the table. Fire, blessings, and resurrection. Somebody lit a fire under somebody's ass, and then here's faith. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just glad I'm finished for the week. Now I can do something more fun like have some wine. Okay, let's get trinkets. Trinkets for the sign of Pisces for this reading. Please share fabric reading shit. Mmm, Jesus. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. I got a coin. Be kind, free, true, strong, happy, thankful, at peace, brave, and compassionate. True to your heart. I got the guitar. And something I haven't gotten in a long time. I got a poised angel. Trust and believe. She is poised. You may not be an angel, but she's poised. And then I got two hearts connected like I always get and the moon is definitely significant maybe you just love looking at it and talking about it with somebody special and somehow you yeah. and ta-da Okay, spirit trinkets from this other bowl. I can't wait to get my new cards and trinkets. And my earbuds Sunday, so I can listen to music again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why do I always get this for you? Okay. Tower. What the hell is this about? Can somebody please message me privately and tell me what that means to you? <laughs> Sailboat. Somebody's just loving on me that's on the other side through these videos and in person. Okay, and then that spiritual awakening. That's the fifth chakra. You might want to look that one up. And once again, maybe there's two of Pisces. Or maybe there's two relationships at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. Your empress never showed up, but I think we already know where she's at. Okay, I guess that's all for you guys. Thank you. I love you. If I can help you, let me know. Have a great day.